Very cool news about Tesla vehicles and Mount Everest. Tesla vehicles for the first time have reached the Mount Everest base camp operating at 5 kilometers of altitude as you can see in these images friends. Tesla is known for not advertising but it does sometimes produce and or share marketing videos from its owners on social media. This is one of the best advertising Tesla could have right? This one from Tesla China is particularly interesting as it features a couple of Tesla owners who drove their Model Y and Model X all the way to the Mount Everest base camp. This is why I said Tesla vehicles rather than a Tesla vehicle. So it was Model Y and Model X reaching to the base camp of Mount Everest for the first time. Tesla recently completed its supercharger route along the China National Highway um, which runs from Shanghai to Zhangmu across 5,476 kilometers. That's 3,403 miles. Transcend, a Chongqing-based bridge designer and travel vlogger, and his friend set out to test the route from Chengdu to the Mount Everest base camp, around 2,339 kilometers, which is 1,425 miles on a Tesla and nine supercharger stations. So it took nine supercharger stations to cover the 1425 miles to the base camp of Mount Everest on a Tesla. This distance itself is not that impressive. I just drove a similar distance from Quebec to Mississippi in a Model 3 last week and it was actually quite easy, reports Electric Reporter. But the difference here is the elevation that Trenson had to drive up and the rough terrain that he and his friend faced. He also had to have wheel chains at times which destroy his efficiency. You know wheel chains will destroy electric vehicle efficiency to a degree. Cars powered by internal combustion engines actually have issues operating at high altitude since oxygen is low and they need it to achieve combustion. You know your car does need an oxygen to achieve combustion. This is why it's difficult for for combustion engines. He also says uh, he also had to actually sleep in the car on a few occasions which also drains the battery pack right since he had to keep climate control on. But they made it to their destination becoming the first Tesla vehicles to do so which is very exciting. Now at the end of the video, which I will have the link in the description of this video, Tesla notes that it has already deployed over 8,700 superchargers at over 1,200 stations in mainland China. In fact, I just today did a short at our YouTube channel at Torque News showing the latest uh, supercharger in Tibet, which is really cool, clean and nice. Tesla also operates an extensive destination charger network in the country in China with more than 1,800 chargers at over 700 locations. Those chargers are primarily located at hotels and tourist destinations. So friends, what do you think? I think this is very exciting that Tesla reached the base camp of Mount Everest for the first time. What is the longest you have driven and what is the highest altitude that you have driven? Let me know friends in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell after you subscribe so you don't miss my coverage and give us thumbs up. Like this video if you like the information here and the information that we do with this channel and visit us at torquenews.com. Have a great day. God bless you everyone and I'll see you soon in our next report. Looking forward to reading your comments. Last week something really big happened at Tesla Giga Shanghai. Giga Shanghai upgraded the Model Y production line and it has already resumed operations. Tesla Giga Shanghai is phasing out part of its capacity in July to upgrade the factory to significantly increase production capacity. After the upgrade is completed, the factory will be producing 14,000 Model Ys per week and 7,700 Tesla Model 3s per week, a significant increase reflecting an annual output of more than 1 million units. 
According to the plan, the Model Y production line was upgraded first. Veda Primal Twitter shared that this line is already up and running as of Friday, July 15. In his statement, he relies on the documents he has reviewed, although he cannot share copies of them publicly, the Tasmanian reports. The launch of the Model Y production line means that Giga Shanghai has entered a new aggressive phase in order to achieve superior performance in 2022 and beyond. Veda Prime tweeted saying the Tesla Giga Shankai Model Y production line came online at some point today after line upgrade earlier than originally planned. This was on July 15. The launch of the Model Y production line also indicates that the Model 3 production line will now be upgraded lasting up to two weeks but possibly less. At the moment, it is not known whether its work is already suspended or this will happen starting from Monday, July 18. It seems that before the upgrade, the Model 3 production line was running at breakneck speed as the largest batch of cars at Shanghai's Lucha Airport was recently spotted consisting of over 7,000 Model 3s. You know, this was again on July 17, uh, on July 15, friends. Over 7,000 Tesla vehicles manufactured at Giga Shanghai were spotted at Shanghai's Lucha Airport ready for export. This is the largest batch sport, uh, spotted to date. Giga Shanghai again impresses with its performance. Despite the fact that in July part of the factory was under modernization, the team did not slow down the pace of production very much. Thousands of cars are spotted in the port of Shanghai ready for shipment. Giga Shanghai Factory Operations Observer Vuva, a YouTuber, again visited the port that ships Tesla cars to customers in various countries and was pleasantly surprised to see so many Tesla vehicles being ready to go to, to, for shipment, possibly to Europe. According to the video and explanation, the dock at the southern port of Lucha was filled with a very large number of Tesla vehicles. Vuva did not expect to see such a large number since the factory currently is under modernization and it would seem that it could not produce so many cars. According to Sawyer Mary Twitter user, the number of vehicles at the time of the filming was over 7,000. However, Vuva made a note that truckloads of cars kept coming at Lucha Airport, truckloads of Teslas, at the moment it is not known how big this batch will be, friends. It also remains unknown where the ships with these vehicles will be sent. Vehicles for Australia and New Zealand used to depart from Shanghai's Haitong dock. However, when Vuva went there last week, it was revealed that Tesla had effectively abandoned the more distant Haitong dock and was using the Lucha Port South dock as its main export port. Therefore, there is a high possibility that the cars captured on video could be sent to Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore. Or who knows, maybe some of them will come to Europe as Giga Berlin is still kind of picking up its production and kind of ramping up the production. Friends, uh, this also aligns well with the delivery date for these countries, which is set for August. Now, on a side note, later, Veda Prime Twitter clarified that Vuva was wrong in his claim that Tesla stopped using Shanghai's Haitang Dog to ship cars to Australia and New Zealand. Thus, cars seen at Lucha or South Dog will be sent to Europe, the Tasmanian report. But now, the big news is that Tesla Model Y upgraded production line at Giga Shanghai and resumed operations last week. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com, friends. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And let me know what you think about all these developments. Do you think Tesla will be able to meet some great numbers because of so many cars we see at Lucha Port? I would love to hear from you. Again, this is Armin Haryan. Please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news. And I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you and peace be with all of you.